steps. So you're almost doing you're almost doing a lot of steps backwards that you would actually do. And we're gonna start with your with your lip pencil. Yes. So you know I will always first of all, drawing lips on, especially with anything dark and bright like a red or a burgundy, is really a lot of work. Yeah. So what you I always tell clients to do instead when they come to the studio for lessons is I show them how to put on their lipstick. Yep. I just tell them to put on their lipstick, mm -hmm. then take the pencil afterwards mm -hmm. and work from the middle, pushing the color to the edge. Okay. So it's less intimidating. It's yeah. you have a lot more control, and especially these invisible lip pencils that are on the market today. These are great because you're not adding more color. Right. All you're doing is taking what is there yes. and moving it where you want it to be. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Because we so all. It is intimidating to actually like freehand outline yes. your lips. And a lot of us are getting it wrong, especially if you're not doing little strokes. You're exactly. actually doing like a big line. Or you go too big. You or it gets big. out of control right. and then you cry. And then you cry you know, and you're daffy yeah. duck. Not good. You don't know what to do. You have to start all over again. So do it afterwards. I like that. Okay, how about the translucent powder? Translucent face powder. powder. This has sort of come in and out of favor over the years, but it's a staple as far as I'm concerned in any woman's makeup kit. And, um, what I will, uh, what you can do with it is, especially if you've got balanced skin to oilier skin, yeah. a great trick is, you, after you've done your moisturizer and your primer, you use powder, yeah. then you put your foundation on. Okay. Okay, and what that does is it sort of smooths out the surface. Yeah. It's going to absorb any oil. Mm -hmm. It'll also make the makeup stay on longer and control shine throughout the day. Okay. And depending on the formula you're using, often you don't need to powder on top of the foundation afterwards, so you're doing it backwards. Okay. Okay, and you don't get the powdery look as well. That's right. And another tip I want to tell everybody is, you know these powders always come with these sifts. Take the sift out and throw in a quarter or a penny. No, mm -hmm. we don't have pennies anymore. Mm -hmm. And this is the great way to shake up your powder so it's always light and fluffy. Give it oh, a yeah. tap and then use your powder because this way you're going to use the lightest amount of powder. Look how nice and airy and soft that is. Right. Okay, it's way better to, uh, to do it that so way. So it's, like it's going to de-chunkify it. De-chunkify, that's, that's a good a one. That's a very right technical on. term. That's all right. That's cool, I've never seen that before. <laughs> how about the mascara? So mascara, a lot of the times when, after you do beautiful makeup, women will take mascara and then go to town like crazy people mm -hmm. and make a, lot of <laughs> <laughs> make a lot of messes, right? Yeah. So what you can do instead is take your mascara, take a Kleenex, wipe it off really well, mm -hmm. and before you start your eye makeup, just do the roots of your lashes, okay? Because mm -hmm. we talk about this all the time. The beauty is at the root of the lashes, because if there's a disconnection between the liner and the lashes, it doesn't make the eye look its most beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this way you're getting it at the roots first, and then you put your eye makeup on, and yeah. then uh, lastly, you go back in, and you finish with some soft strokes, maybe four or five strokes, and you don't mess up the rest of the makeup. Okay, but you're putting in that mascara on the root before you've even started before your you eyes. Before you start, so you get it right in there, Face. and then if you do make any mistakes, you can get it off right away, yes. and then move into your eye makeup, and then when you finish, you just have to do a couple light touches to pull it all together. Smart. And another thing, too, is that way, all that fallen eyeshadow that goes on the lashes, yes. when you put the mascara on, it actually thickens the lashes. It's like fiber. Right. It's really cool. It's an old, old trick that we do, and I it still works. On. Yeah, and that's why people are still <laughs> yeah. doing it, right? And um, then lip, lip gloss. gloss. So, uh, you know, sometimes we can't find our lip balm, and we put our lipstick on, and it just looks horrible. Yeah. You know, it looks, it just looks so dry, whatever. Mm -hmm. Lip gloss, I think everyone has them. A clear one is a good basic one. Mm -hmm. Put it on your lips, just tap it on, mm -hmm. and then put your lipstick on top not only is it going to treat your lips but another really great trick is really good with these long-lasting matte lipstick textures because right. it just adds a little extra moisture mm -hmm. and the lip looks more satiny as opposed to dry. papery and dry oh that's so good yeah, good I think trick. also depending on the lipstick you're using it might make the color a little bit less saturated very good sometimes point. if very you want it point. to be less yep. uh, you know less exactly. red or less orange you're giving a lip a little more slip so mm. the color's not going to grab as quickly that's right good point Okay, what about the bronzer? And bronzer, we always put bronzer on after our foundation, mm -hmm. right? Well, what you can do instead, especially for nighttime, yeah. get a nice matte bronzer, matte, no shine, okay. and two to three shades deeper than your skin. Uh -huh. And then what you do it is you're gonna take an angle brush. I love an angle brush for when you're contouring. Mm -hmm. Under the cheekbone, under the jawline, along the hairline, it elevates your evening makeup, and it's like a softer way of doing contouring. Okay, lovely. And you're doing that not last. You're, you're doing, doing you it? Do it right at the very end of your it. makeup to give it that extra mm, uh, camera ready, we call it. That's camera right. Ready. Well,